recently uh, you have voted for uh, an increase in salary for the commissioners and some of the other elected offices, and I think that increase would take place in 2012. Uh, my concern is that uh, the economy uh, is certainly uncertain, and we're not sure where we are today, let alone where we're going to be in 2012. But some things that we... So I'm here this morning to ask you, and I should have introduced myself uh, first, I suppose. Uh, my name, I'm Bill Ames, and I'm a, a property owner and a business owner in the county and also an office holder in South London Dairy Township. But I'm, I'm here this morning to ask you to reconsider those increases. The folks that uh, run for those offices uh, consider themselves to be public servants. Uh, they're concerned about budgets, and uh, I know you folks are struggling with a budget right now, and there's no reason to believe that, that that's going to get easier in 2011 or 2012 or 13 or 14. In fact, my belief is that it's going to become more and more difficult as the same people have to pay more and more, not only at the local level, but at the state level and the federal level. So uh, in the consideration of the fact that people run for those positions, they are in fact known as and consider themselves public servants. I think they are the people, the very people that need to set the precedent, start to bite the bullet because I think going forward all of us are going to have to bite the bullet. I thank you for your time and listening. Well, my vote could have been the easiest vote of all because it would have been very easy for me to vote no, but it's just not fair. It's not fair to the other public officials that work full time in this building. In many cases, their deputies make more than they do. They are the lowest paid in the whole state when it comes to fifth class counting. So I could have easily got off with that and vote no, but I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do it to Sally, I wouldn't do it to Met, I wouldn't do it to any of them. I felt the raise was fair, and I still think it's fair. The other thing, we're required by law as to when we must vote in that. So you ought to start studying the, no, no, the code. I, I, perfectly, I understand that you need to vote on it. Well, we can't or, rescind it. I, I can tell you that right now. <coughs> <laughs> so if we're going to follow the law, we've got to follow the law. We can't twist it to suit ourselves or to make it look political in nature like you are. Well, I'm sorry that you've taken that position. I came here as a citizen and... Just made a we have never, Bill. I'm we have not, never seen you here I'm not since. Oh, the only time we've seen you here since you announced you're running for county I'm commissioner. Not, I'm not going to debate it with you. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, I'm willing to. No, I, I didn't come here to debate. Did you realize that the other people work full time, and that their deputies are paid more than they are? I realize that they work full time. I don't know that their deputies are paid more than they are. In many cases. But your your plea that it were the lowest paid. Maybe it's not that. We're low paid, perhaps that it's a lot of the other folks are overpaid. In, in the, the other counties. counties. Yes. So now you're speaking for all the other counties, yeah. too. Uh, you're really knowledgeable when you do that. I mean, you know the whole state, all 67 counties already. So. I just came to make a comment, and I, I don't think it's out of line, and I, I, I really don't want to debate, and I don't want you to necessarily uh, try to prove that I don't know anything. I don't care what you want me to prove. Martin. I'll identify myself. Martin Brundy. I'll, I'll, just like this gentleman, I saw what the county voted. I'd like to remind you of several things. This year and next year, there are according to Social Security Department, there are about 2,100 senior citizens in Lebanon County who will not get an increase in their monthly Social Security check. I think it's 21,000. Several thousand people will, do not get a pay increase. That concerns me. It also concerns me sitting on your side of the fence that we're in an era where I don't believe we can any longer say, does this person, is this person worth X dollars? Is this position worth X dollars? 
we've been put in an economic situation where we need to ask ourselves how much can we afford for that position? Because certainly the fire, the police, the people in, in Lebanon City, they're worth no doubt every penny and perhaps more. Lebanon County might be likewise. I don't know. But again, it gives a perception of we're going to raise some more money, we're going to raise probably some more taxes, we're going to go through the reassessment, and God only knows what, what's that going, what that is going to uh, entail. I fully well understand your legal ramifications, know exactly what it is, but I just want to say there are a lot of us out there uh, who are disappointed, and we're watching. And I hope, again, putting it in political terms, because we all know it's politics. When it comes right down to it, everything in the world is politics. We all know that, if we want to admit it or not. I hope that in two years, at the